Yo, YouTube, quick check in for the day. Today is Thursday, you know, uh, another day in August 2021. Checking in real quick on my way home. Uh, had pretty much of a, of a wash day at work today. Didn't get much done. Spent a lot of time on social media. That's a hindrance, not a help. Um, ran down a rabbit hole about dating interracially and can you be pro-black and um and and man actually this one person came up with with some really good stuff so they're saying you know a lot of, a lot of the argument is you cannot be a black man and marry a white woman and still consider yourself pro-black um i see this geared a lot towards males not so much towards females which i again i don't know why but but they say definitely like they're talking about males cannot marry a white woman and consider themselves pro-black anymore uh, a lot of the guys on there are saying you know pro-black starts with the house and with the family and you have to um you have to advocate all right i don't know where i left off at but uh yeah so what i was saying was um sorry i had a phone call but what i was saying was um like you ran on this pro-black rabbit hole can you be a black man marry a white woman and be pro-black um and they're talking about how pro-blackness a lot of people were saying well yeah a lot of people were saying no and then a lot of people were saying yeah uh look at frederick Douglass, which i didn't realize was married to a white woman but frederick Douglass, um wasn't named bob marley um even uh j cole was raised by a single white woman and then the people who see these people they're like oh that's an exception you can't take that as that being as that meaning anything and and okay sure i guess you could call those exception exceptions of the rule but but that doesn't mean that it's still possible right and um and so then i i, I got into a talk with one of the guys on there and he's like i think the problem is you know there is no standard of what pro black actually is and um and i was like yeah like like is marriage the beginning or the end or just a part of being pro black and then in that case, can if if being pro-black is all about marrying and the unit of the household, can a family who is pro-black uh, or who is a black married family and they don't spend the money within their community and they don't offer help for those who are who are harmed or offer the betterment of the black race, are they considered pro-black just because they are black, right? Um, just because you're black does, and a black family does that make you pro-black, right? If you're not doing anything else for the community. And then likewise, if you're doing all this stuff for the community, um, I knew a man named Xavier Bell, um, RIP, but he uh, he was an amazing uh, man. I would consider him most definitely pro-black. And uh, he, he ran the Family Freedom Center when I was up there in Duluth, Minnesota, and I was working under him. And, and his whole thing was we teach unapologetically black. He brought people from the, all around the community, NAACP organizers and everybody together to uh, to advance the, the black people in Duluth, Minnesota. And he was most 100,000% pro-black and he was married to a white woman. Uh, Cause I used to be you know on the same team of no, you, a black man cannot marry a white woman and be pro-black. But he told, he changed my view completely. So. You know, um, they call them exceptions to the rule. Are they exceptions or are they just not highlighted? You feel me? And um, anyway, anyway, uh, let's see. Where was I? At? I say that to say that, uh, that 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 for me, it's most definitely I've seen it firsthand that you can be pro-black and and married to uh, a white woman or outside of your race. But a lot of people were saying no, you can't. And I asked, you know, what if you're married to? A black woman as a black man but you don't do anything for your race will you still be considered pro-black um, and then again like can you call that guy that I work with Xavier Bell can you, because he wasn't married to a black woman can you say automatically he is not pro-black even though he's doing more for the for black people especially in that area than 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 many if not all other black people who are married to a black person all right so uh so I asked you know is it the beginning the end or what you know or just a part um and and i agree with him i think there is no consensus on what pro-black means and i think a lot of people are putting their own ideas and making up their own definitions of what pro-black means to them so they're trying to say it's for everybody but there is no consensus 
definition of what being pro-black is or or means and uh and then someone else brought up a, a point, right? And was like, which I thought was really good. And, and I told this person that I think they should come out with a podcast or something to talk about it. Is that um, if being pro-black, if these people are saying, you know, being pro-black is, starts at home, it starts with the family, correct? And, uh, and, and, and it takes a black man and a black woman to start a black family uh, for the procreation of the race, um to 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 claim to be pro black where do people in the lbgtq community fit um as an lgbtq black couple who is married can you even consider yourself to be pro black for pro black is being considered the procreation of the race then um lbgtq people are not procreating the race. They're not having children, right? Um, I can imagine that women would say that they can still be pro-black even if they're LGBTQ because they can still have children if they get a donor or whatnot who is black. But then they're boxing out all males because males cannot have children, right? Unless they unless they spread their seed or something like that. But as a couple, they are not procreating and, and, and starting uh, or, 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 you know, establishing and building the black family and, and multiplying, right? Uh, and then that, that was very interesting to me. Uh, where do these, uh, where, where does the conscious community uh, label or, or put LBGTQ black individual couples who are married are they no longer pro-black also that led me to another thought as to what if there is a married what if there's a black married couple who either cannot because of medical reasons or choose not to procreate and have children are they still considered pro-black i ask that because if what i understand people are saying pro-blackness starts in the household and to be pro-black you have to have children that are black and raise them as such as a black couple who decides not to have children or ones that just technically cannot have children can they still be considered pro-black or are you now shunning that aspect of of the people as well and saying you can't be pro-black either because because you're not advancing or procreating the race so a lot of like, again i ran down this rabbit hole for quite a while on on being pro-black and, and and dating outside of your race i myself considered myself pro-black a lot of people would agree with that i'm sure a lot would not as well but i'm pro-black and i date exclusively black women in fact i'm in love with a black woman right now and this might be the last person i ever date so i am enjoying life being pro-black as a non-black person and and that has me thinking you know i always was under the context of being that I am so pro-black and I know that it's and I'm for black love I really am and and should I not date or be with black women knowing the history behind white people and black women and I asked the the, the woman I'm dating the queen she is and she said she said by by me choosing not to be with black women um that's kind of taking away their power still because if the black woman decides what she wants to do with her own body who she wants to be with that's her choice right and who am i as a white man to say no i refuse you that choice as well as other black men who are you to refuse the black woman to say you're not in control of your own body you must decide to date another black person you are now controlling them as the white man has tried to control them as well um, 
So anyway, different perspective that I never thought of before that she hit me too. Might not be explaining that exactly correct, but it was on those lines. So anyway, what are your thoughts? Do you believe that a black man can date a white woman and still be pro-black? Do you believe a black woman can date a white man and still be pro-black? Do you believe any other race can be pro-black? Do you believe white people can be pro-black? Do you believe Asians can be pro-black? Um, let me know your thoughts in the comments. And we'll touch base tomorrow. Thanks for tuning in. As always, peace, love, stay safe on purpose. Bye.